Okay, everybody, we are back. So, in the last area, we got the A license, which allows us to open this way and go to the Yum Land. So, let's uh, continue on our journey here to a new area. So, um, yeah, th there's not too much going on here. Um, a few mystery datas. And, uh, there's some new viruses, but I'm cutting out the random battles. So, uh, Unlock the unlock thing with the sub chip. Bronze fist. I don't think I've ever used that before. It's as far as I know, it's just like a, a big fist chip that shoots one panel ahead of you. And look, we found a bug frag. So um, the point here is to get to the net square, and we got to take the warp. If we go down through that. Uh, arrow panel I just walked past. Um, there's a net merchant there, but he doesn't really sell anything that useful. It's just a couple couple crappy battle chips, which I'm going to pick up later. And I don't even think I'll ever use any of them other than to fill up the library. And yeah, I see a uh, purple data that I can't unlock yet. Navi plus 20 chip, that's nice. Um, yeah, I'll have to come back here at some point and unlock that unlocker thing. Always gotta like it when you get large amounts of zinni and green mystery data, right? I always get turned around here. I, I don't know why, I just hate areas where you have those panels that just move you automatically. I mean, just about every game I can think of with those types of panels always causes confusion. Um, Breath of Fire in particular comes to mind. There's this one area, you're in some sort of tower, and it's like that. And you got all kinds of these arrow things that move you around, and you're so disoriented. Anyway, I think I'm supposed to go up this ramp here. There we go. Well, that, that kind of a, was a waste of time, but we are going to... What the... Okay, looks like um, Shadow Man is uh, confronting a bunch of guys. Um, well, never mind. Those guys are gone. Now it's just whoever that guy is. Um, I'm obviously not going to read all the text. Mr. Dark, that's a weird name. Why didn't that guy come and help fight? I mean, he just stood there, I guess, and watched. Yes, save your strength. Um, for some reason, it's taken him a long time to get deleted. And he is gone. It's okay, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. But I don't want to, because he's a really dumb looking nephew. So anyway, Mega Man ap appears right after this is apparently finished taking place, and there's nobody here. Hey, what's with that? Click, click, click. Well, you know, that really sucks. I was looking forward to buying stuff from the net merchants, if nothing else. And yeah, they even killed the net merchants. That's mean of them. Hey, clatter, clatter. Okay, we go. That's a weird looking door. That, it's like a, a house drawing or something. Anyway, we talk to this guy. Yeah, 
Yeah, he talks in music language, apparently. Yeah, the king died, all the people died, Humpty Dumpty fell over the wall, whatever. And yeah, we're uh, apparently going to be next. Except, Cutman, alright. I don't know, Cutman was a real treat for me when I first saw him in this game, because I felt very nostalgic for the first Mega Man, and this was, I think, my first Battle Network game I really played through, and so I thought it was really cool to, to see uh, Guts Man and Cut Man and other guys I really recognized, um, even though Cut Man here is not hard at all to me, as you'll see. Ah! I got cut! That's mean. Anyway... <clears throat> sorry. Anyway, don't you think it's kind of weird how he just walks around with the peace sign? You know, on his hand. Peace. Even though he's like trying to cut you with scissors. Even though that kind of looks more like a buzzsaw than a scissor. But then again, he's cut man. He's not scissor man. So, I mean... I can't blame him for using other cutting devices than just scissors. So, yeah, I kind of have sucky chips still, so I'm just messing around with this guy. One of these days we'll fight his higher form, and maybe, maybe then we'll have something better. And my phone's ringing. Oh well, I'm not gonna answer it. Don't you just hate that when your phone interrupts you right in the middle of something that you're doing? You probably can't hear it, but it's really loud where I'm sitting. Uh, this is so boring. I don't have any cool chips or anything I can use on this guy yet. Uh, we can hit him with roll at least. Oh, that should recover my damage from getting sliced with his scissor head thing. Ah! Well, I didn't exactly have a choice but to get hit there. The scissors were in my way. Uh, I can just hit him with the sword, I guess. All right, let's cut cut man. Yeah, I got a lousy rank three. I took way too long, but whatever. I'm not like trying for S ranks or nothing. Yeah, Shadow Man was better than Cut Man. Cut Man wasn't hard at all. In the uh, original Mega Man, that is. So yeah, let's go warn um, everybody about Shadow Man apparently killing everyone on the internet. And that real generic danger music again plays. Yumland security was thought to be world class and yet they all just got deleted by a guy with a pair of scissors on his head and uh, a guy who throws shurikens. I was like, the heck with this, I'm getting out of here. Okay, now that that plot point's done. Got mail. Unknown. All oh, right, the retro. Um, if you have a Battle Network one game, you can like 
do a trade with yourself or something to get old chips or I don't know how that goes exactly. I never really tried it. But if you're playing on the ROM or an emulator, then that's pretty much a non-issue. So just ignore that. We keep getting mail. Yeah, thanks. Yes, I just explained that. Thank you. So we're supposed to go see our dad here. Our dad, not her dad. Man's not a she. Man, my mind's scattered today. Um, let's see, I believe we have a few things we can do beforehand, which, well, first of all, I'm going to go grab, and uh, they don't have to unlock our chip, stupid guy. Um, I like to dump my battle chips here that I don't need, even though I should probably be saving them up, but at the moment when you're stuck with such crappy chips, might as well at least hope for something good. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a few, uh, side jobs here and get these out of the way. So before we continue on with the plot, we'll be doing this job and maybe one or two more. Um, I'm also going to be finding a couple optional guys, so we got that to look forward to. And we're going to talk to this guy because he's part of the job. And I'm just rambling on again, I know. So anyway, I'm going to cut it here and I'll see you soon. So yeah, um, I'm going to be fighting Gutsman version 2, I figured I might as well just tack this onto the video. Uh, just a quick battle. Um, it's good to do this now, to get it out of the way, and to get his version 2 chip. Since, you know, anything you can use, uh, well, be useful. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. But anyways, it certainly is nice to get a program advanced right off the bat. He's not that much harder than his original form, um, except he does throw, uh, quite literally, he throws punches now. And yeah, he, he has a bad habit of stealing your panels and trapping you in the back row, and then uh, breaking your panels and then throwing his punches at you. So watch out for that, but otherwise he's pretty simple. Alright, let's, um, yeah, let's, this would be nice. Elixir. Ow. Gigantic fist to the face. And we'll finish him off with roll, and that should be it. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. I will see you guys next time when I guess we do some side jobs and um, we got Toad Man, Gate Man, I think, coming up next.